Awesome. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started for everybody who's here. We are with Sarah with Azamara. Azamara, Azamara. How do you say it? Azamara. Azamara. Okay. Azamara Cruises. I'm so excited to hear what she has to say. But I personally have not been on a cruise and with Azamara, but I want to really bad. They look amazing. So I'm excited to hear what you have to say <laughs> and teach us. And I think we've got a good mix here. We have people who've been in the business a long time and we have new agents. So Sarah, I'll turn the time over to you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks to everyone who has joined to know more about Azamara or to get a little refresh on us. We have a lot of exciting things in the works with new and exciting faces to our company, um, which I'm going to go through everything. I won't take too much of your time. I do like um, an energetic group. So if you do have questions or comments, like please feel free to ask. Um, I'm more than happy to answer it throughout the presentation. You don't have to wait till last minute, but completely up to you. So let's just start off with the brand video of really who we are. Oh, and I'm your BDM, by the way, um, for Florida and Puerto Rico. So I'm your go-to person for everything here at Azamara. Um, and then any questions you might have for existing bookings, his name is Mike Rogers. He is my right-hand man, and I will be sharing his information towards the end of this video. So there's two of us here for you to be working with. Push beyond the obvious, and perspective is open to change. You see parts unknown in ports less known. Unwind, stay the night, and just slow down. Wander, but never wonder what a place is really like. The difference is night and day. Azamara, change the way you see. And that's really what we wanted to really hone in on is changing the way a person does see, how they travel, what, what they dive into when they're cruising with us. But before we get into that, Last Monday, we had Miss Dondra herself join us as our new CEO. She is a legend within the cruise industry, over 40 years experience, last came from a celebrity. She tried to retire, retired life was not for her. She saw the amazing potential in future with Azamara and she wanted to be a part of that. So now she is here with us. She's already making waves. She is visiting all of our ships and doing conferences all around the globe, really. Um, so she's just diving right in. We are so excited to have her. So who is Azamara? Why Azamara? We have four small ships, four beautiful small ships, and we're entry luxury. Yes, we are not the high-end luxury. We're that sweet entry luxury spot. A lot of our guests come from princess and celebrity because they're, they're used to that sort of feel. So when they come to us, it's a really nice, easy transition for them. We have immersive itineraries. That's what we're known for, getting into every single port that we travel to, immersive cultures. We want you to see it all and do it all and buy it all and eat everything you can in all these destinations that we take you to. We are the pioneers for the overnights and the late nights. We're the only ship who gets to be in port the longest. And I'll show you some, some details on that a little bit later. We go over to 370 ports, over 850 late nights after 8 p.m. And of course, almost 400 overnight stays. We have specialty voyages and country intensive voyages. So what does that mean? When we go to Iceland, it's Iceland intensive, Africa intensive, Greece intensive, Japan intensive. We want to make sure that you really get to all those neat ports that other companies cannot go to. And of course, our world voyages. World voyages are 155 nights. If you can't do the whole six or six months with us, then you can do segments as well. That's what you can do with, with World Voyages and truly get a, a wonderful experience on board. Now, what are you always going to expect with Azamara? Well, I'm, I'm so used to big ship cruising myself. I actually used to work in the cruise industry on board ships. So I used to, I started out my career on, on Princess and Carnival and I was on ships for six years. And then the last seven years I have been in corporate roles with cruise industries. So I'm, I'm so used to the bigger fleets. And when I experienced Azamara for the first time, I was truly taken back because there is 
so much on board and, and the vessel is so tiny, but there's still so much. And there's only 700 people on board. So you're not, it's not crowded. There's, you're not hitting elbows. You're not waiting in line. You're not rushing to get back to the ship and, and waiting in line after 3000 people. We give you time to experience these ports. So when you cruise as Amara, you are always going to experience a variety of dining venues. There's about six to choose from on board. Drinks, alcohol, coffee, wine, spirits, water, soda, all that's included all day, every day. And you're not swiping your card either because it's included. So there's no receipt signing. Tips and gratuities, that's included. Immersive cultural events, which we pride ourselves on, that is included. And I'll touch more on that a little bit later. And then self-service laundry. Every time I talk about this, I, I like to see people's expressions because a lot of people are like, why is that cool? Well, when you're doing a grand voyage or even a 15 night voyage, I'm pretty sure people don't pack 15 pairs of underwear or 155 pairs of underwear. So to have a laundry facility on board and multiple facilities is a really great perk. There's no hassles, there's no crowds, unique and iconic destinations, and then the overnight and extended destination days. That's what you always get with sailing Azamara. Now our travelers, 45 and plus, that's where a lot of our, our guests get to. Culturally curious, they're active, they're looking for adventure, they wanna go at their own pace. Again, we give them that time, we give you time for your seven hour excursion. And then you can go ahead and explore the rest of the city by foot and be there till eight, 10 o'clock at night, waving goodbye to the other ships or even having an overnight and having no curfew to get back to the ship. And then the last point there, it says the average booking window is 9.5. However, that's very different for Florida. My 2024 bookings are still stronger than my 25 or my 26 bookings right now. I'm still getting, August voyages. I'm still getting my November voyages for when the ship's here in Miami. So my 24 is still very strong. And that's, that's how it is with a lot of my accounts right now in Florida. So that, that 9.5, that's not how it is for Florida. Now, where do our guests come from? Who to target? Like I mentioned, celebrity is a great one to go for. Princess, again, a perfect match. We also get a lot from Virgin Cruise Lines as well. It's that next elevated step for their cruise experience on a smaller vessel though and entry luxury. Now, past river cruisers, because we're so small of a vessel, we're actually able to go down river channels, which is very, very nice. So for river cruisers, there's only so many rivers you can see. So when they're done with those ones, you bring them to us. We can still take them down the river, but then also all around the world. And then land tour customers, very, very big. So let's say you have a guest who wants to do two weeks in, I don't know, Greece. You send them to us, or at least offer that to them. And you say, take a cruise on Azamara because you can do a 12 to 15 day voyage and be in a port every single day. And you're only paying for one hotel, which is our hotel. The food's included, the drinks are included, everything's gonna be included for them. And they get to see, 12 to 15 ports, depending on their itinerary length, and then also have overnights in those destinations. So that's honestly a perfect match for them. Now, what are extended destination days? That is 10 hours or more in port. Now getting into the late nights and the overnights, this grid that I'm going to show you actually comes from CLIA themselves. Um, back in February. So these numbers are very new. And this gives you a bird's eye view of the amount of port days, late nights and overnights that we are in port for. Now we love all of our other brands. Some of these brands, my, my best friends work at. So this is not to bash against anyone, but this just shows you that Azamara does take ownership and is the leader in regards to being in port the longest. Our guests are in port longer than they're on our ships. And we're okay with that because again, we're known for destination immersion. We want our guests to be in port the longest. Now getting your guests closer to the port. Like I mentioned, we can go down rivers, meaning here's one example. Most other ships have to dock all the way up in La Rochelle and take a two hour drive down to Bordeaux. We dock at the city center in Bordeaux. So we're gonna be on our second glass of wine while the other folks are taking their two hour bus ride down. That's not fun. You're missing four hours of a round trip ride, a precious time when we get you right there. So again, more time in port. And this is one out of many different itineraries that we can do this on. 
here's our fleet, our beautiful fleet. Uh, to give you a little history of our little background, we have been in business since 2010. For the longest time, we were under Royal Caribbean's umbrella. During the pandemic, obviously the whole industry shut down and Royal Caribbean had to make a very tough decision in order to sustain themselves. They had so many vessels out on the water. They had to let us go. Great thing is that we have an amazing investment company who picked us up immediately and they are named Sycamore Partners. So not only did they keep our existing three vessels, they never laid off anyone. They actually increased our contact center from 33 people all the way to 97 people. We added plenty of more sales positions and they bought the fourth vessel of ours, which is the Onward. That used to be the Princess Pacific, and they put $52 million into the Onward to make it identical into our existing three voyages. So almost every single ship is going to be the same. The Onward has a, a little fewer guests because they have more suites on board that ship. But every ship is going to have the same suite categories. They're going to have the same um, amenities on board. So that's the great thing is that you're never guessing which is which. Also, our crew... 400 crew on board. That's about a two to one service ratio there. And then we are constantly making sure that our ships are some of the best out there. Now our ships are not new. They're not going to be the newest ones. They're, they're Renaissance ships, but we want to make sure that because of the age of their ships, that they are running and operating and looking as beautiful as they possibly can. So that's why their latest refurbishment was 2001, or sorry, 2021. Um, and we're redoing refurbishments as well this year. So again, we're constantly investing into our product. Great thing as well, since the pandemic, for any cruise line to say that they're back in the black is such a huge accomplishment that we can say that we are back in the black. So we are actually talking about adding newer vessels to our fleet, which is very, very exciting. Now to give you an inside look of how our ships look on board, I'm gonna start from the very top of the owner suite and then work my way down. So the world owner suite is 600 square living space. Uh, they have not one, but two bathrooms inside them. So absolutely beautiful. And then these people on here, um, that's my sales team. We did a conference and this is on the pursuit, but yeah, we were on conference, we're in Lisbon, everyone's together. We're seeing all the suites together again. Uh, but they have an additional 200 square foot balcony. So really you have 800 square feet of the entire owner's world suite. So you have a separate living area, two bathrooms, and you have your separate master bedroom as well, which is going to happen right now. So huge master bedroom. And then you also have a wraparound closet, which is also really great for the grand voyages, world voyages, and hey, even week voyages there for you. But even the size of these bathrooms are incredible for this class of ship, massive shower, and then a double vanity. So that's the world owner suite. Then you move down to the club ocean. There's no video for this one because it's the exact same layout. However, it's a tad bit smaller. So for living space, the world owner was 600 square feet. The club ocean is 700 or 478. So again, not that much difference, same layout and absolutely beautiful still. Then you have the spa suite. This is actually the most popular suite we have on board. There's only two on board, but when you just look at the space, the layout, it's gorgeous. The bathrooms are also just redone, stunning bathrooms, and both spa suites have their own jacuzzi right there. So again, of course, it's gonna be the most popular. And then you have the Continent Suite. This is our entry level suite. And this one's also fairly popular because of the amount of storage. And honestly, it has really great space as well. So you have all that storage plus the additional closet space. And these bathrooms were as well just redone. Now with all of our suites, you are getting a dedicated butler, additional $300 onboard credit, afternoon tea served on your balconies, um, you're getting spa amenities, you're getting specialty dining. So the list goes on and on and on for your suite categories. Now for your standard rooms, interior, ocean view, and veranda, which has the balcony. Now we wanted to have the same aesthetic design going throughout the ship because why not? I mean, it's beautiful. You want to feel relaxed and at peace wherever you're at on the ship. So we wanted to carry that through and be unison throughout. Now some more 
places around the ship. So because of the size of us, we are actually known to have a lot of groups on board and we can actually charter out the vessel as well because with less than 700 people on board, chartering out this sort of vessel is very, very doable. And we do get a lot of requests for it. So every single public space is going to have its own entertainment. It's gonna have bars and just lounge space. And just honestly, it's, it's very beautiful throughout. Our dining options, again, this is what surprised me when I experienced our product for the first time. Discoveries is your main dining, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's no time, you go as you please. You don't have to be super fancy. It's more of a country club casual feel. The Prime C and Aqualina are the two specialty restaurants on board. Now, Prime C is our steakhouse. You can't go cruise without having steak on board. So Chilean sea bass and just wine pairings and just really, really great food surrounded by the beautiful ocean view. And then Aqualina is our Mediterranean infusion. So it's going to be a lot of seafood, a lot of homemade pastas and lemon souffle. So just beautiful cuisine throughout the regions. And then more dining options, your mosaic cafe, that's going to be your coffee area. There's also a little snack light bites throughout the day. And that also changes breakfast, lunch, and dinner for you. Windows cafe is more of your buffet style. You can dine inside, or there's a seating area outside for you to dine out there. And then the patio grill. The patio grill is your pool grill by day and turns into al fresco dining at night. Now, if none of these meet your fancy, you can do room service and that's fine. You get into your robe, you dial room service, you turn on TV and just have a great night indoors or eating dinner on your balcony. That's also an option. Now, more places around the ship to feel anchored. On our original three vessels, we have the drawing room. However, the onward, this is the other slight difference of this ship. We wanted to do something different. So we put the Atlas Bar and the Atlas Bar has amazing cocktails and they've already won awards, which we're super pumped about, but this vibe and atmosphere and the bartenders up there are just, it's something else. So those are more places to feel anchored around our ship. Now, of course, we wouldn't be who we are without the entertainment that we provide. And that also ties in the cultural events, which I'm about to get to. But we have a full-size gym and a little full-size yoga studio as well, and a full service salon and spa. So we do operate like a, a full-size mega ship. We're just smaller. Now, this is what I am most excited to talk about is the white nights. Now, every single voyage, you will experience a white night voyage. Everyone's decked out in white. The whole open ship and deck is filled with the white tablecloths and the flags and our banners and our signs. And the captain comes out, the senior officers come out, the entertainers, the dancers, the crew, and it's a massive celebration. And on one side of the pool grill, there's food like you would not believe, your sushi, your charcuterie, your steaks, your fruits, there's so much food. And the other side of the pool grill, you have all of your dessert stations set up and you're dancing and you're singing and the captain does a speech. And then what I really enjoyed on my white night was at the end of it or towards the end, all of the crew, because our crew is the heart and soul that operates our vessels and they're all around the world and they come out holding their country flag and they all get acknowledged and they did a catwalk around our open deck of the ship and just for everyone to be acknowledged that their name and the country that they're from was truly beautiful especially for me who worked on ships knowing that life for us to acknowledge our crew again just a very wonderful celebration that night but what your guests are also going to experience is an as amazing evening uh, now, this name is actually changing because we've had quite a few names for this. And Dondra came in saying, we need to find a name and we're going to stick with that name. So we are changing it to As Amazing Events. So I should probably update this PowerPoint. But this here is basically an elevated excursion for your guests where we take your guest out into the ports of call and we put on an event for them. Actually, the locals will put on an event for them. So they can go watch a symphony in port or they can, when you're in Africa, there's also one where we used to walk with the elephants and the giraffes and there's food and there's music and there's the local people that surround you. And it's just an amazing event that you get to experience. And that's exclusive to Azamara because we have those contracts in place with these ports of call that we go to. So again, that's, that's what we pride ourselves on is to be able to give you that immersive feeling. 
Now, as I mentioned, the heart and soul of our ship is our crew. Our crew goes above and beyond. And I know a lot of brands say that as they should, the crew works very, very hard, but we honestly, we love our crew and they keep coming back and they want to be on the same ship because they're so used to seeing the familiar faces and everyone's like a family on board. And I love that. Now to give you some insight on where we go cruise, because we are global and anywhere the water touches, we basically go to. So sample itineraries, we hardly ever come over to Canada or even Miami, and we're doing that this year. So starting in Montreal, going down to Miami, as you can see here, there's a lot of U.S. ports. Now, during those U.S. ports, New York, Massachusetts, Maryland, we're doing ship tours, which is fantastic. No invites have been released just yet because this is a work in progress to get there, but we're having ship tours where you're, we're gonna have lunch on board, the advisors can see the ship and it's going to be an amazing time. But also we are coming down to Miami in November and we have two vessels coming down to Miami, the journey and the onward, where we're gonna be doing ship tours right here in our own backyard. I will be on most of these. Dondra might be on one, Katie might do one and Katie's the AVP of sales. But again, we are getting advisors on our ship that day to see it, to experience it, to see the sweets, to try the food. And we are also thinking, this part's not approved just yet, but we're thinking of allowing our partners to bring maybe one of their high-end guests with them. Again, that's still a, a debate right now, but we're hoping that's a possibility. But I will send these dates to you if you haven't written them down or took a screenshot of this. If you are interested in seeing these ships, please let me know so I can get you on board and put you on my RSVP list right now before we have to reconfirm. But getting into more of where we sail, Mediterranean, look at this, seven nights, seven ports, three overnights. That's unheard of, three overnights in a week, Athens to Istanbul, Turkey. You have a nine night gem of a Mediterranean from Lisbon to Rome with two overnights and almost a port every single day for you. 12 nights with 11 ports of the best of the Mediterranean from Barcelona all the way to Venice and you're seeing Montenegro and Croatia and just beautiful, beautiful Italian cities. Northern Europe as well, a 10 night Bordeaux and Normandy with 10 nights, one overnight, eight ports and two late nights. So you're gonna be saying goodbye to the other ships as you're still drinking your, your night wine. So just beautiful. You get to see some amazing sunsets in, in amazing areas where we do Asia, a 15 night Japan intensive round trip Tokyo. And then of course, Africa. Now with Africa, we have partnered up with Mikado Safaris. Now, if you know Mikado Safaris, you know that they are no joke. They are the biggest reputable dealer in Africa. And we offer 77 different excursions in Africa, which is huge. So if Africa is not on your client's bucket list or yours, it will be now. And then land experiences. Of course, we're destination immersion. We got to get you into the heart and soul of all of these destinations we go to. So not only did we partner up with Mikado Safari, we partnered up with Perry Golf. Perry Golf is the god of golfing. We have 21 of the world's top 100 golf courses. Now, Perry Golf supplies everything for your golfer, or I know golfers like to carry their own clubs with them, and they can, but if they don't want to, Perry Golf will provide everything and take care of everything. And your guest can say, I just golfed over in Scotland. Who can say that? Not many people can say that. And we have amazing itineraries throughout the year where we do offer Perry Golf voyages. Like I mentioned, we are partnered with Mikado, Mikado Safaris for Africa, just great partnerships. And we have curated itineraries for both these partnerships. We also do city stays and hotel stays. This is a 10% commission if anything of these are booked. Not every single voyage will have this though. Some, some regions are tougher than others to get things nailed down, but most of our voyages will offer city stays and hotel stays. And then this is where we get into the longer itineraries. Grand voyages are 35 nights, and this is where we get to start including things. So you're getting complimentary air class, $1,200 shore excursions, and a few more items added to that list there for you. Then we get into the world voyages, which is 155 nights on board. Now with our 2025 world voyage, 
these are the amenities that your guest will get when they book a 25 world voyage. We also have a 2026 open and the 2026 um, uh, inclusions are a little bit different. So I'm just focusing on 2025, but they get $25,000 worth of amenities. So $4,000 onboard credit, $3,000 shore excursions, business class air, a hotel night before their trip, and just so many other amazing amenities included. And this is us saying, thank you. Welcome aboard. Thanks for spending six months with us. Let's get started the places that your guests will see. And this is not all of them, but mostly all of them. An 18 night segment from San Diego to French Polynesia, going into a 14 night segment from the South Pacific jewels of French Polynesia all the way down to Auckland and Auckland's beautiful. I, I spent three months in Australia and New Zealand and it, I mean, I, I played with koalas, I played with kangaroos, and it was the funnest time I ever had. And so to do this segment, I would do in a heartbeat. So New Zealand from Sydney, that's a 12 night segment. And then Sydney, Australia, all the way down to Singapore, a 22 night segment there for you. Treasures of Asia from Singapore, all the way to Bangkok, Thailand, from Thailand down to Mumbai. Mumbai, all the way over to Athens, Greece. That's an 18 night segment for you. Athens, Greece, all the way to Rome with a 14 night segment and five late nights. The Mediterranean Icon, a 10 night segment with six late nights and one overnight from Rome to Lisbon. And then of course, Bordeaux and Normandy, a 10 night segment from Lisbon to Southampton, England. Now for groups, again, we are known to have really a, a lot of groups on board all of our vessels here. It's a minimum of eight staterooms in order to make a group and we can hold your inventory until 150 days. The TC ratio is one to 12. Now, if you get a group that's more than 25 staterooms, that then turns into a contract group and you work with myself and Andrea. Andrea uh, lives here in Miami with me and she's fantastic. She will go above and beyond for you and work very, very hard to make sure that your group has the best time possible. Even if you just have a regular standard group, you will also still get a dedicated group concierge. Well, you're, you'll work directly with that person and myself. You will also receive gap points. This is a very small list compared to what we actually offer to enhance your group experience. I also have additional gap points. So if you say, Sarah, I really need two or three extra gap points. I really want, I don't know, champagne and, cho and chocolate strawberries to all of my staterooms. I got you. I will give you those gap points to, again, enhance your group's experience. <clears throat> Now, if you can, I would like all of you, if possible, to uh, open your cameras and take a picture of this QR code. There is about three or four QR codes I'd like you to scan. This is one of them. This is our portal right now. This has everything you need, marketing material, images, videos, our offers, travel agent rates, everything you need is gonna be on here. This is our portal for now until we launch our newest portal because our old one was very heavy on Royal Caribbean stuff still. So we wanted to just redo the whole thing and just make it completely as Amara. And that should launch, we're hoping in, in quarter three, but for now, this is what you're going to use. The next image I would like you to take um, your cameras out on is if you want some destination guides. This is gonna be the order form and it's complimentary. You just put in your details. I want 20 books and we send the books to you and they're physical guides. If you wanna send any to your guests or have any in office, this is the order form for that. And the last one, if you would like to scan it, this is brand new, probably about two weeks old. This is our travel advisor guide. This is everything and anything you need to know about our ship in a very small packet. And the pictures are updated and it's, it's really, really great to have on. So if you want to take a screenshot or a picture of that one, you can absolutely do so. Now to close off the last few slides are offers that we have in place right now, our flash sale. We are in the last week of our flash sale where your guests can save up to $2,000 per their stateroom or they have an airfare savings. <clears throat> that is our flash sale and it is combinable with our quarter two offer, which is great because we never have combinable sales. The next one is the pay in full. 
Obviously, anyone who pays in, in full is great for you and I. So if they pay 150 days before booking, then they get to save 20%. They get free Wi-Fi, $300 onboard credit, and a few more amenities with that for you. And then this is Mike. This is my right-hand guy. So for Mike, he's going to handle all existing questions, all existing booking. So if you email me about, Sarah, I have a question on booking ABCD, uh, they have a question with their stateroom or they're missing onboard credit, I'm just going to forward that to Mike because that's, that's what he does. He's my inside support. So he covers my inbox or my support box, which is sarahysupport at azamara.com. For me, I'm here for all of your new business. I'm here to do consumer events, to do marketing with you, to help you with whatever you need as far as getting your booking and securing that new booking. If you write me and say, Sarah, I have a guest wanting to go to Africa, but they're torn right now between you and Oceana, I'm going to say, I'm going to give you some onboard credit, or I'm going to give this spit for you. Maybe that'll help sweeten the deal, and I'm going to help you close that booking. So those are the differences between myself and Mike. But that concludes Azamara in a nutshell, and I do hope that I answered um, a lot of questions. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And I just, again, thank you all so much for, for joining and listening in. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Um, also, we wanted to have Susie jump on for a second and share her experience at, um, about just her experience on the ship and her favorite parts of um, her experience um, sailing with you. I mean, how did she pick? For, the for months on end, I've heard so many good things about it. Exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah, please share. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Um, Sarah, it's nice to meet you online and it's fun to start talking about this. The biggest challenge I have, and I actually have a guest at my house right now that I met on the world voyage. Can you guys believe she'd never been on a cruise in her life and she sh signed up for the entire world voyage? Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. So I met a lot of people. The coolest part was I traveled solo and how I found out about it was your predecessor um, in 2021. I heard about the world voyage. I was very intrigued by it and I decided I was going to do it, but I had a unique situation. I wanted to invite different people with me on every single segment. So I did back to back to back to back to back. Not the best thing to do in hindsight. If someone wants to do the world voyage, you lose all the amenities if you do like I did, but I'm okay with that because I can, um, I'm a big girl, <laughs> but the, she, you guys, it's not just a sales pitch. The crew is your family. Um, they are absolutely magical and they're continuing because the ship had to circumnavigate or chose to circumnavigate around Africa. And they have been so incredibly creative to keep the few passengers that are doing that with them. Um, but what I wanted to highlight a bit is Sarah, y'all have the best shore excursion contracts in place for the offshoot land experiences. And I can tell you that because I did them all. I did Machu Picchu. I went to China. I went to the Mekong Delta. I went into India and went to the um, Taj Mahal. And that was run by Mikado. And being in the industry and being very critical of watching how logistics work, I was extremely impressed. Um, so from me understanding different destinations. It was very educational. Um, what I also wanted to say is it's it's impossible to explain the experience in five minutes. I'm gonna be doing my own talks about it. It's actually tonight at seven o'clock where I have somebody interviewing me saying, what was it like? And then if I have enough following, Sarah, I'm going to continue to do segment by segment by segment. So I'd like to have a conversation with you about that later. Um, for marketing. Um, you, you, you literally become part of one family and you look forward to the sea days. I remember everybody going, how on earth are you going to deal with six sea days? <laughs> and it's like, easy. You, you know, how on earth do you go hang out at a resort for five days? You know, it's, it's delightful. Um, the ports, Sometimes I have to be honest with you, sometimes we didn't get the best docking positions and it would make it, but you always provided shuttle service right into the center of town, complimentary. 
Um, one of the best things that pops to my mind, two unique things, is I, we actually went on Pitcairn Island um, where the mutiny on the bounty took place. And the captain took a risk that day. Um, it was it was challenging, <laughs> but we got on there. It was unbelievable. And the other thing that I clearly remember is I made good friends with a lady who's a bear. She's platinum with you guys. And she invited us to her veranda on the bow next to the owner suites. And we sailed into Sydney Harbor with mimosas at 6 a.m. So things like that were just phenomenal. Oh, I so, love that. Yeah. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you for, for choosing us to, to experience the world. And I'm so glad that you had a really great experience with us and that you're able to talk about it now. So yes, I'm happy to partner up with you on whatever you need. Thanks so much. Thanks for giving us your email contact information. I appreciate that. Yeah. Was yeah. there any questions that I can help with? Well, also Sarah's um, information is also on our portal as well. Um, and then I'll be adding those links that you shared with us um, to that as well. And so that way you have access to the guides and, and things like that. Um, we did have a few questions. Um, I think Danielle had two. Danielle, do you want to hop off a mute for a second and ask those? Sure. Um, one was, thank you so much for Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it all. Um, I saw that you're coming to Charleston <laughs> on that so just trying to see if it's a possibility to get a, come do a ship inspection, a tour, quick tour, or anything while you're in Charleston. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Just send me an email so that I have all of your details okay. because I'm not, there's three other, my colleagues doing that Montreal down to Miami. So I will let right. them know that you are interested okay. and we can get you on that list. Cause I do know they're starting to build out some of their lists. Okay, that will be, yes. Yeah, that would be awesome. awesome. <laughs> no. And then my yeah. second question was about the Wi-Fi. I saw that it was included with the run, Veranda Plus 120 minutes. So what, how much is it if you run out? I do not know off the top of my head. Um, I do know okay. that like the suite categories do have some Wi-Fi's included. Um, and then Veranda Plus is where we start adding in like Wi-Fi packages. I don't know what the okay. exact price is as far as in, like in order to renew it um, on board. I can okay. definitely find that out for you. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'll put it in the email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, and then we also had a question about how close do you get to the center of Venice? So Venice is always a give and take for us, depending on the water levels, because Venice for us, our ship barely makes it, right? So if the water levels aren't as high as what it needs to be, then obviously we can't go down the river channel there. Um, but most of the time, that's what we aim for is to get right there in the heart of Venice for you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for answering that. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Um, as always, we do have Sarah's information up on the um, portal so that you can always contact her. Um, you can always copy myself or Cassie in the email as well so that um, we could be here and uh, support you in any way. But yeah, Sarah, thank you so much for coming on here. And there's just so many places I want to go in the world. And um, oh, I guess I did have a, a quick question before I forget. What is the is it adults only or the cruises that you have to be like, what's the age range for, for guests? Kids can come. There's no kid activities or mm -hmm. programs on board, but I mean, you're in court so much anyways, where your kids are experiencing the world. Right. Um, I, I do think I should know this, but I think the age is starting at two. I don't okay. think we do like baby babies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Um, that would be Hello, fun. I have a quick question. Oh, okay. Cassie. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -mm. Just before, first of all, thank you, Sarah, so much. And before you end, cause I just need to put it, we keep track of who attends who's if, and if you don't want to come off your mic, you don't have to, um, you can put it in the chat, but who is one eight Oh one six's iPhone. That's me, Amy Maurer. I got a new phone, so I got to go in and rename some things. Oh, no problem. Amy, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm glad you're here. Yep. 
<laughs> okay. Well, yeah, thank you for attending today. And um, again, we'll have this recording on our website. So it's just been um, great to learn um, about this. And yeah, we appreciate all of you attending and Sarah for coming. Awesome. Real, real quick, Sarah, will you be at EDGE? I'm not going to be at EDGE. No, I know. I wish I was.